This is the Mac Mini, the M1 Mac Mini that came out in 2020. And I'm definitely not the first person on YouTube to talk about this product. It's been out for so long, it may make you wonder why the heck I bought it. And the fact that it's refurbished is kind of interesting as well. That's right, straight from Apple refurbished. This isn't even the first time that this particular piece of hardware has been opened. I'm getting sloppy seconds, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm happy about it. I saved myself a lot of money. Now you might be wondering, with all the other stuff I have, including the PC behind me, why do I need this? And I gotta be honest, I don't really have a good answer for this, but we're still gonna open it up, see what's inside and play around with it. And we'll do all of that right after this. this, this is, uh, you know you to, to Travis. What up players, welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. And today we're gonna talk about the Mac mini, a refurbished one straight from Apple. Let's see if this thing looks as good as I hope it does, at least what I've been told. In case you didn't know, Apple has a refurbished program by which all of the products that they sell you are still warranted for a year. You get free delivery, free function testing, they clean the device if necessary, it has the original operating system or a more recent version, and they all come repackaged with a new box and all new accessories and cables. So essentially, you just get what is essentially a new product for a discounted price. I got this for just under $600, a little bit over after tax. So not a bad deal for what will be perhaps uh, my first four way in, four way, four way, four way, it's a four way. My first foray into having a desktop Mac. Now I'll be honest, I actually wanted to get an iMac, but you can't even buy those things anymore. And I thought this would be a cool little way to dip my toe in. If you've watched this channel before, you've seen me for the first time try the M1 MacBook Air. It was my very first MacBook I ever had. Had I Justine help me out with it. It was kind of a fun video. People seem to like it. I'll leave a link in the description below for that. But let's get into this and see exactly what comes with the M1 Mac. Now, interestingly, it actually says refurbished on the box, so they definitely did uh, take it and do their little refurbishizing. Let's take a look here. We open it up, and there we go. And it has been repackaged. Now, a lot of times when you get refurbished products from companies, they don't go through the process of like rewrapping it as if it's brand new. That's pretty dope. Of course, in here we get a, a power cord and nothing else. Of course, this there's really nothing to be had here. You don't get a keyboard, mouse, or nothing. You gotta figure it all out yourself. But then again, it's not that much money for what you're getting. Power cord here. We'll take this little thing off. Woo! Here we go, baby. Now, I'm gonna take a look at this thing closely. I can't imagine there would be any kind of scuffs or anything on it. And no, this thing is crystal freaking clean. Look at this, beautiful all the way around. And, um, oh, for a minute there, I was like, what happened to all the ports? It's a portless, uh, it's the first portless Mac, everybody. Can you believe it? They finally did it. Apple, congratulations. No, that's not true at all. I wonder what this black part was. Boom. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. So there we go. We got our power. We have our uh, Ethernet in, our two USB-C, uh, HDMI, and our two USB-A, which I'll be using for sure uh, as my keyboard and such. And uh, then, of course, the Mac uh, emblem. And the whole thing looks uh, looks pretty legit. So. Um, at the end of the day, like, what am I using this for? I, I'll kind of explain it to you, but it's not gonna make a lot of sense. Now, I freely admit that there's not a lot of purpose for me having this, and you might wonder, why am I getting this after I already had the uh, MacBook Air? Well, I'll be honest, laptops never really fit into my life. I just don't go anywhere with them, and if I need anything portable, I have my iPhone or my iPad or iPad Pro, which is what I edit all the th everything on this channel with. I never had a problem with Mac OS, I just didn't really have a use for a laptop. And since I do use a desktop, obviously, and I have uh, four monitors here, one of which that you gets used every so often, I thought maybe I could connect this to that and get a little use out of it and see uh, if I could figure out a way to make this kind of more into my life. My Mac OS is out of my life right now. I'm trying to see if I can come back in. The very newest version of Mac OS has just been uh, released. And for those of you that are gonna be like, well, I saw you figure out Mac OS in previous videos. I have forgotten everything because I haven't used Mac OS in like five months. So I'm gonna learn it all over again. Should be interesting. All right, I'm a Windows user, like I said, and I don't remember very much about how to set up the Mac, but it kind of doesn't matter because with the MacBook, it has, of course, a built-in keyboard and everything, and this does not. So I have my keyboard plugged in. Uh, my mouse is Bluetooth, so... Eventually I can get to the Bluetooth setting. There's no Bluetooth setting. So I figured I would go USB-C to USB-C, but that's not working. And uh, I'm at my Apple ID thing and I can't select signing in with, with my Apple ID because I, 
when I hit tab, which is how I've been navigating things, it doesn't want to go anywhere else. You hear that sound? That's the sound of failure. This begs the question, how does anyone ever set one of these up? I mean, literally, how, how do you set one of these up? If you get to the point where you sign into your Apple ID and you don't have mouse control because you plugged into the mouse, if you don't have a magic mouse, you have a regular people that use mouses, mouses, and then you get to this point where I want you to sign in and you, you can't sign in, I'm so confused. And whenever I do a video about me using Mac OS or something for the first time, this is why they're popular, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And all y'all jump in the comments days, weeks, and months later to tell me what I did wrong, I appreciate you. Of course, you're not here now, so it doesn't help. Again, my mouse doesn't work. Plugged into USB-A, USB-C, I turned it off without keyboard and everything plugged in. It looks for a Bluetooth device. I don't have a magic keyboard, I'm not trying to do that. I have a nice keyboard, nice mouse I want to use. And I'm stuck at the sign in with your Apple ID. I can no longer tab to anything. It's just freaking stuck. I don't know what to do next. So I'm gonna FaceTime Greg from Greg's Gadgets, good friend of mine, and hopefully he knows how to fix it. Hey buddy, I'm having a problem setting up my Mac mini. Okay. And I think it's probably the worst thing that Apple's ever done. Let me show you. Here's the problem. I'm stuck on this page. And the reason why is because I got my keyboard. I got my mouse. I even tried wired it in because I can't Bluetooth because I can't get to the part where I can Bluetooth. And I can't do nothing here. I can't tab any further. I can't, I can't do anything, Greg. Help. <coughs> Help, Greg. Uh, what do I do? How do I get past this? <laughs> Wait, you can't move your mouse? I, I can't connect my mouse. My mouse isn't connected. I mean, I even got a USB in and nothing, there's no mouse anywhere. So Help. US, you have it directly USB in. Yeah. Moving. Yeah, there's no mouse cursor. That's weird. Yeah, I agree. What do you do? Uh, do you normally have like a magic mouse or something that you use? Um, I, I think I set mine up with the wired mouse. What? Well, I mean, technically, this is a this is a Bluetooth mouse, but you can use it wired and stuff. I don't think the mouse is connected. It's like. What are you talking about? It's charging. It's getting power from the Mac. That's why it's doing that you color have thing. A dedicated mouse with like a wire. <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jeebus. I mean, who has one of those? But <laughs> let's see if I can find one. All right. So uh, Greg had me grab a different mouse that I had, and I had to put the adapter in. It's ridiculous. I don't understand. Why this didn't work easier, Greg? Why, what is wrong with your your Apple Mac Minis? Why is that? I don't know. Uh, when I set it up, I did I did not run into this problem. So uh, you know, I don't know. That's a weird one, though. You think they'd have something figured out for a product where they don't have a, a keyboard and mouse included with it? Because any other Mac has has that included with it, and it's already connected. And this is the MX Master Three. It's not like it's, it's well. Someone's going to tell me in the comments, obviously, that I did something wrong, and I should have used the receiver with this, and maybe I should. I'm curious to know if there's like a bunch of people with Mac Minis who had the same problem as you and they did just, they just didn't know what to do well, or they had to go out and like buy a new Mac. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I'll let you know how this goes. Yep, no problem. Good luck. <laughs> hey, right, bye. So I'm, I'm back to my desktop finally. Things kind of work. It's going to take me a while to figure out exactly where everything is. Again, I completely forgot where everything is. And um, I need to re-download software that I used to have. Let's see if some pictures are in there from, okay, get started. What's on the phone? Okay, yeah, here's my pictures from my iPhone. That's awesome. So that's great. That's when I was in the hospital. That's when I was eating food. That's people at Vid, uh, Vid Summit. Good stuff. All right. Okay, cool. So that stuff is here and I'm used to that. I'm really going to have to get back into this because it's been a while since I've used Mac OS. And again, I'm kind of here because I want to be able to bridge the gap from all the rest of my Apple devices, like my iPhone, my Apple Watch, and everything um, to the Mac Mini. Now, the problem that I had setting up had to do with the mouse. And I guess I could have used the receiver for this thing, but you can usually plug in a wireless mouse uh, with an USB cord and it usually connects as a regular mouse, but for whatever reason this didn't so I had to go get the receiver from a different mouse because I don't know where the receivers are for these things. I only use them in Bluetooth um, with that goes along with my regular desktop as well. So and I have so many of these I have like four different uh, MX masters They're really the best mouse. Anyway, um, I'm gonna play around with this a little bit to try to remember exactly how this stuff works. Um, I think I can redownload things like um, some of the apps I have in LumaFusion, but uh, I'm here anyway. Let's see if I can re-download uh, Final Cut. At least we'll start there. See if I can re-download. Kind of, okay, there's Final Cut. Oh, and I have it. Now, I had bought it in a package deal before, and I figured it might remember, and it did. Now, to be clear, this is the base level iMac. It's 256 gigs of storage, not a lot. Eight gigs of RAM, so I didn't get the big one. I did this for a couple of reasons. Number one, I'm dipping my toe in, and I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money. This is to see if... Mac OS can ingratiate itself into my regular workflow. And if so, maybe I'll get like an iMac or something like that, a, a monitor that's already the computer. I like that idea. I like the all-in-one idea. I remember some things from before, 
Um, and really the power of the M1 can't be understated. And the fact that this thing is making no noise at all, no fan noise at all, is absolutely awesome. I forget about that. This thing will make no noise. Actually, one of the reasons that I got it was that and the low power draw. And I'm just, I just want to have Mac OS somewhere near me. I don't know if it's going to work in my setup because I need to dedicate a uh, monitor to it. I'll, I'll see if there's some way to maybe remote desktop into it. Um, I also can do things like install Windows on it, so that might be helpful. I don't know. I want to figure out how to make it work with my existing desktop. It'd be easier for me if instead of switching the inputs on my monitor, if I could just remote desktop to it. I'm sure there's people in the comments right now practically yelling at their screen, telling me what software to use. Go ahead and tell me. And some of you are telling me to stop using Windows. And you can tell me that in the comments below as well. But for me, this as a purchase, um, under $600 for what seems like a brand new Mac mini, uh, it, it makes sense to me. This thing is awesome with so many ports, so much power, and the ability to use Mac OS. If you're in the Apple ecosystem anyway, this seems like a pretty easy purchase. I'm, the, the decision is pretty easy. Now, I'm going to spend some more time with this and hopefully share some more thoughts over the coming weeks. I'd love to know what type of things you want me to go over with the Mac Mini. You got to let me know. If I don't know, I, do, I don't know. As far as everything else goes, I do like Mac OS, and I am going to upgrade this to the brand newest version of Mac OS, something that I'm a little nervous about doing but if you like that and you want to see what happens next because already i can tell i'm going to be fumbling with this thing for a while hit that subscribe button to make sure you come back and watch the future videos let me know in the comments below what kind of things you want me to test on here you also can watch my previous videos where i installed windows on a, a mac air a macbook air and when i first got a macbook with iJustine right there i'll see you next time peace and love